Right, this is going to be a bit of an awkward video simply because it's very subjective and it's not really something that I can like say for certain what you should or shouldn't do. But this is, I got a question from a question from Jordan and Jordan said, is there any, are there any moral boundaries to lucid dreaming or can you pretty much do anything even if you wouldn't do it in the waking world? Now, to understand this question, we just need to... So this is a really interesting question because the lucid dream is a place where you can do anything. Okay, you're, you're able to unlock your mind. And, you know, you've heard me say it before. You're able to control your dreams, do whatever you want. But the real, the real moral question is what should you or shouldn't you do in this environment? Because a lucid dream is a place within your own mind where you can do things without consequences or, you know, allegedly without consequences. So you can do things that might be illegal in the waking world. You can do things that might be immoral in the waking world because it's all in your mind, you know, it's all a dream. So I guess what Jordan's really getting at here is what are there any boundaries that I would suggest or is it sort of all open, you know, fair game? And I want to approach this question in a slightly different way, which is going to be to put it back onto you as a person, whoever you are watching this. If you are having doubts about something that you want to do in a lucid dream or maybe you've already done, but you don't know whether it's morally right or, you know, you don't know whether it's allowed, I guess you could say, you don't know whether it's right to do. It really comes down to what you would feel comfortable doing. So obviously, if it's something that you would do in waking life, if you could, right, then it should be fine to do in a lucid dream. But just use your common sense. Anything negative that you do, anything, you know, aggressive or malicious or anything with sort of a bad or negative intention anything like that that you do in a lucid dream is not going to have any benefit to you in fact it's going to have a negative benefit to you it's going to have a negative effect on your mind and your personality and the way you feel because when as humans we're not designed to do bad things we're not designed to kill people or you know steal or whatever the case may be we're not designed to do these things we're designed to love each other and support each other and you know without getting too choppy on you all we're not designed to do negative things we're designed to help each other as a species that's how we've come so far by helping each other so i don't think that and bear in mind this is just my opinion right i'm not uh, you know there is no qualification in this stuff because it's massively subjective i would say that Anything negative you try and do in a lucid dream is just going to make you, as a person, feel or behave worse. You know, it's just like the effect that really violent video games has on you as a person. It's been proven now that really violent video games, like with lots of gore and aggression and everything, makes you more aggressive, at least in your temperament, than if you hadn't played the game. There are extreme cases where violent video games make you actually do the, you know, or act more aggressively and violently. But at the very, in the very best case scenario, violent video games make you slightly angrier. So either way you look at it, you know, subjecting yourself to and experiencing this level of aggression and violence, even in a dream, is like experiencing it in a video game. It's not good for you. And, you know, again, this is just my opinion, but it's also backed by proof and science. You know, video games have been shown to correlate with aggression you know the more violent a video game is and the more time you spend playing it the more likely it is that you'll be aggressive or antisocial or whatever it is however you want to describe it so i guess what i'm saying is you can and you could do anything in a lucid dream but whether you should or not depends on who you want to be as a person if you want to be a good person and live a, a good full loving fun life then just do positive things in a lucid dream just do things that you know, things that you would be happy with your name to be associated with. Like, I'm perfectly happy to tell anyone, you know, that I have lucid dreams about flying, or about exploring alien worlds, or about shape-shifting into a different animal and seeing what they experience, or, you know, diving to the bottom of the ocean. Because these, these things are positive, they're uplifting, they make me, even in a small way, slightly better. Whereas, you know, if you were to have lucid dreams about going on like a killing spree or something, that's not really something to brag about. Do you see what I mean? That's that's a negative thing to experience and to choose to experience that because, you know, lucidity is all about choice. To choose to do that is reflecting very badly on you as a person. Now, this is where it gets very 
controversial. I think of the best way of saying this. There are times where stress relief is something that you crave, right? So say, let's give you a very, let me give you a very simple example. Let's say if you, you have a job, okay, and you, you hate your boss, you can't stand your boss, and all you dream about all day long is just being able to like throw a document file at them, you know, or tip their desk over, or slap them, or something, right? Low level aggression, some stuff that's not really, it wouldn't really cause any harm, but it would help you relieve your stress, okay? This sort of stuff, I would say, is acceptable in a lucid dream, simply because it's not really that bad, you know, according to society. Like, it's not the worst thing you could do, and therefore if it helps you relieve your stress, and you wake up feeling more relieved and stress-free, then fine. You know, that's... We have, uh, you know, in, in waking life, we have anger rooms now, where you can, like, flip desks over and throw things and smash crockery and all this sort of stuff simply because it's been proven to relieve stress and make you feel better in some small way. But I think when it gets into the dark area of like doing really bad things that would be really bad in waking life, then maybe you shouldn't. And maybe you just stick to lucid dreaming just for the, the positive effects and for actually doing the things that it's designed for, which is, well not designed, but you know, the things that it's most beneficial for, which are to help you grow as a person. So this is a bit controversial, a bit of a difficult topic to discuss really but I felt like I should answer Jordan's question anyway just because it's interesting and it's I've not really answered this question before so that's it done <laughs>